<laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, is everybody all right? Yeah. My goodness, yes. We've certainly been through an experience, haven't we? I know. We're like victims of a plane crash. Yes. Is there any news from upstairs? Bobby was definitely infected by the MOX 36 formula. Oh, oh no. They're trying to find the antidote for her before it's too late. Oh. Well, there's no point in my going up to the 10th floor and cluttering matters. Uh, t Tom, why don't you let them know that I'll be setting up a command post in my office? Okay. And I'll tell the switchboard to transfer any calls regarding the situation to me. And I'll try to find out who knows best how to treat the effects of germ warfare. Well, I think I'll go up with Tom to the 10th floor and see if I'm needed. Otherwise, I'll just come down and help you, Steve. We'll be there all night if necessary. Mm-hmm. Look, why don't you go home and get some rest? Oh, no, I'd like to wait for Frisco first. He, uh... Left I see you, and he never mentioned where he was going. Well, see you later. Where's Alistair Barrett? I need the antidote. Huh? Don't mess with me, Barrett. The antidote. I need it now. Where is it? Don't waste my time. I'm not telling you anything. You know, the woman that was injected could die. You know that, Barrett. Too bad. So could you. That's right, Barrett. You're the doctor. You need that antidote, too, boy. Or you're gonna die, too. Huh? I don't care. The success of the mission is all that matters. You know, Barrett, you're scummy. You know, you can't do it. touch him. Huh? Don't you care what happened to Bob? Of course you know what I he's care. done? But I'm a doctor. I can't allow you to touch this patient. Well, I don't give a damn what you are. I right now. do. Listen, Barrett. You're a dying man. You should see yourself. You're almost dead. You're gonna come begging for that antidote sooner or later. We're gonna see how loyal you are to your DVX and your mission. And I'm gonna be here every step of the way. And I swear to you, I'm gonna personally see you hang. Slowly! Killed him. We don't have to wait in line. I mean, it was this close, Sean. I mean, I really could have squeezed the life right out of him. Then why didn't you? Because Patrick stopped me. No, that's not really the reason. You didn't because we're not killers, that's why. Well, but he is. Him and all the people like him, and they're the ones who are running things. So what does that mean, huh? The inmates have taken over the asylum? Frisco, we will take care of him later. Right now, all I'm worried about is that Bobby lives. Yeah, well, we're running out of time. Is Roger showing any symptoms yet? Not yet, but then he was affected by Slater. Right, and he's got a different genetic structure and a different immune system. Right. General Hospital, 10th floor. Just a moment, please. It's for Dr. Engstrom. All right. It's coming. Mm. It's gotta be coming. Connie? Yes, I had a message from Sean. Yes, right. Bobby Meyer has been injected with MOX-36. Um, the situation is very grave. How did that happen? I don't have time to go into it right now. Uh, Roger Barrett is also, uh, has also been affected, but uh, Bobby is the priority for us. All right. What can I do? The antidote. I think I have it memorized, but I need your help to corroborate. Good. How long will we have to wait? Uh, Connie, what kind of timetable do you think? Well, let's see, once we get the formula, I'm going to need to mix the elements. Right. And wait for them to culture uh, about 10 hours. 12 hours. I I'd say 12 hours at least before it's there. 
12 hours. 12 hours, that's great. Come on. Okay, Connie, I'm gonna go to the private phone and I'll call you right back. Okay? I'll be waiting for your call. Okay. Thank God Connie got my message. Well, the guys heard a lot of them today. I'm sorry, there are too many visitors. Only one of you can go in. Uh, well, go ahead, Sean. All right, thank you. Okay, you'll have to wait a minute. part was when they tried to separate us. That's when I wanted to kill him. No one has the right to come between us. No. No one ever will again. I was afraid they were going to hurt you. You know, if he'd have laid one finger on you, I ripped his head off with my bare hands. No, I'm glad you didn't have to. Me too, he may have hurt me. Let's just hope Jake and Bobby are as lucky. I was praying as hard as I can. Me too. 